So looking back at the footage from my previous SPJ trip, there is one particular drop that I want to share again with you guys. I'm going to play the uncut original version of the video from before the jig hit the bottom until I hooked the fish and analyze what action I took that might have triggered the fish to bite. I started off doing short pitches with tension fall, which means the jig was having more of a vertical up and down motion. And in this case, you don't see too much slack on the line with those short pitches. And after a while with no strike from the fish, I changed the tactic a little bit towards long pitches with free fall. And here you can see the slack on the line during the fall of the jig. With this, I can imagine the jig has more of a horizontal or lateral flutter compared to the previous short pitches. And only after a few long pitches, the fish took the bite. In this scenario, I think the relatively long pitches with free fall jig worked better and presented a more attractive action to that fish. But what I really want to emphasize here is that free fall isn't always the answer to everything. Sometimes I get more bites when I was short pitching the jig on the bottom. The entire jig presentation depends on the type of jig, depth of water, how strong the current is, and more importantly, the mood of the fish. What I do want to suggest is that don't always stick to one presentation. Even if this produced many fish in the last trip, it doesn't guarantee that it might work on this trip. If something doesn't work, adapt and change. Change the jig type, jig size, weight, change the way you pitch. That doesn't guarantee you will catch big fish every time, but it sure will increase your chance of success. <laughs> 